in this video let us discuss the significance of india's central location india is located in the center between east asia and west asia east asia on one side west asia on the other side and india is located in the center of these two now there is a trans indian ocean route and this trans indian ocean route ocean route it connects the countries of europe in the west and the countries of east asia and it provides a very very important central location to india the trans indian ocean routes connects india with the, the countries of europe in the west and the countries of asia and this route provides a central location to the country then we have deccan peninsula this deccan peninsula it helps india to have a close contact with the west asia africa and europe from the western coast and with the south asia east and the east asia from the eastern coast means india has a contact with asia africa and europe from the western coast and india is having a close contact with south asia and east asia from the eastern coast now india is having a larger share in the indian ocean because india has a larger share in the indian ocean that is why an ocean is named after a country india indian ocean gets its name from india because india has a large coastline on this ocean and no other country of the world has such importance it it means there is no country in the world which is named no ocean in the world that has been named after a country only there is an indian ocean which is named after a country india we have seen how the central location of india has helped our country due to the central location of india india can have better trade relations between different countries of the world now we would be discussing about india's contacts with the outside world now indian india's contacts with the outside world was through the land routes and it was also by through sea now india's contacts with the land routes are much old than those that from the sea because people were afraid to travel by sea now these land routes were through the mountain passes a mountain pass is a gap between two mountains and from those gaps people they used to move from one part to the other part so these land routes were from the mountain passes the ancient travelers they used to exchange ideas and commodities as they moved throughout these routes which routes the mountain passes from these mountain passes ancient travelers they used to move and they used to exchange ideas and commodities the ideas of upanishads ramayan story of panchatantra indian numerical system decimal system it spread to many part of the world from india the ideas of upanishads the the ramayan the story of panchatantra indian numericals the decimal system from india it spread to many part of the world similarly the influence of uh, greek sculpture architectural styles of domes and minarets of west asia can also be seen through india in india it means that indian contacts with the outside world was through mountain passes the land routes were was much older than the sea route and it helps india in two ways first the ideas commodities exchanged the story of panchatantra upanishads ramayan decimal system this spread from india to other part of the world similarly the influence of greek sculpture the architectural styles of domes minarets from west asia this also came to india or can be seen in india now let us discuss about subcontinent we can have a question what is subcontinent and name the countries that constitute the indian subcontinent a subcontinent is a distinctive geographical unit which stands out distinctively from rest of the regions because of its large size 
varied climate and relief it means a larger area a different geographical unit which stands out differently from the rest of the region why it is standing because it is having a large size it is having different types of climates and different relief features what are the countries which constitutes indian subcontinent which country makes indian subcontinent now it's india at the center of the subcontinent to the west is pakistan to the north is nepal and uh, the tibetan part of china that's in the east you have bhutan and bangladesh then in the south you have maldives and uh, in southeast we have uh, sri lanka so indian subcontinent is formed by india pakistan nepal bhutan maldives and sri lanka india is at the center pakistan is in the west nepal and china tibet in the north bhutan and bangladesh in the east maldives in the south and sri lanka in the southeast